Okay, CAD 212 class. Let's talk a little bit about how to put our weld symbols on our drawings. Um, your best selection of software is to use the AutoCAD mechanical when doing your welding symbols. Uh, let's look at problem two, uh, the fillet and bevel groove. Um, notice that you have, <coughs> you have a one quarter by one half fillet on one side. Uh, and then you have a bevel on the other side. So let's go ahead and draw up our geometry, which should look something like this. All right, and notice that in uh, AutoCAD Mechanical underneath Annotate, there is a ribbon. Here in the ribbon, there is a command called Weld Symbol. All right, just click on it. And down here, say Insert Symbol. Watch your command prompt. It says Select Object to... Uh, select object to attach our library. So I'm just going to put it right here uh, I'm A for accept and my start point is going to be right here I'm going to turn off my ortho Alright, and then once I left click Let's turn my ortho back on so my line straight Once I left click and then right click it comes into this dialog box Alright, so we know uh, at the bottom uh, we have a one quarter inch fillet weld, one quarter by one half. So all we got to do is put one quarter in this field and then one half in this field and then pick our fillet weld, which is going to be this one. Okay. And that's all you need for that side. Now, for the top side, when you do a fillet, you're going to actually have a degree symbol up here and for this one we're going to put 40 uh, and this is a one quarter bevel okay so turn this back around to where we have a then hit OK and you should have something that looks like this I accept this doesn't need to go there that's degrees you don't need that one that one's going to be zero and this one's going to be I think that is a one quarter also one quarter and hit OK and notice that we have on this side, which is this one, the bottom one, we got a one quarter, one half inch intervals. Then we have a bevel on this one, one quarter, uh, and a 40 degree. All right, so that's how you actually insert your symbols. Uh, let's look at another one. See if I've got another one. Uh, let's go do another one real quick. Uh, Let's look at 18.4, which is a double V groove. Uh, it's just a simple, looks like a simple rectangle. All right, and we're joining these two pieces together. So what do we do? We go to our weld symbols, hit insert symbol, click on this, right click, our start point. Uh, I'm going to turn my F off here for a second and then right click and brings us into the uh, welding symbol ANSI dialog box. All right, you'll notice that it remembers everything that we had before, so we're going to turn all this off. Uh, looks like we have a V groove on this one, so we're going to do a V groove, which is, you'll notice that as you hover over these, it tells you uh, your bevel, this is your v-groove, this is your uh, flange, uh, here's your fillet, which is probably the most common of uh, the welding types. So we're looking for a v-groove, so we're going to put v-groove here, and I think it says it's a 3 eighths, a little 3 eighths. 
and then at the top we also have a V groove and what's the angle on that one it's going to be a 80 80 degrees by 116 okay that's your 8 4 and this should be actually 5 8 okay and once you're done uh, if you if it tells you to add a process for instance uh, if you want to add a uh, tungsten or even a gas uh, your GMAC and your GMAW are the most common as you also have the tungsten also um, I'm not sure that any of them ask for you to put the uh, process but if it does that's how you do it uh, so this is where you add all your symbols and all your detailing for your different types of weld symbols. Any questions, let me know. Thanks.